Okay, so now I'm ready to render this out. Um, I'm just gonna preview it one more time. I'm in full frame, bounce and come back. Cool. All right, so here's what we do, render settings. Now for this, um, we don't need to have it be full resolution. I just want you to do a little preview render. So standard setup is uh, HD 720. So it's 1280 by 720. Uh, let's just lock the ratio and instead make the width 720, just so it's a little bit faster render and a little bit smaller file. Um, okay, now first output, and actually I'm gonna change this to physical render, a little bit better render. Okay, so first work with your settings. Okay, the output, we're, when we do our final renders, we're gonna do 1920 by 1080, sort of standard HD size. But again, for this, we're just doing a preview render. Uh, frame range, this is important. Um, what you want to do is make sure current frame is just going to render one frame, right? It's going to render whatever frame you're on, zero or 90 or whatever. You want to go down to all frames, okay? So that way it's going to go from zero to 120 frames in total. Now, the cool part about this is you can type in manually too if you only wanted to render a section of it. Like if you wanted to just preview a little, like where it hits the wall, for example, you could type in you know, frame 80 to frame 100 or whatever, and that would just render out for there. So all frames, because we want the whole project, we are going to save this, uh, choose a path and a file. So um, I'm going to save it to, I've got one called ball roll already, and uh, we're going to just call this ball roll 2. And the file format for this, uh, I'm going to suggest we just do MP4. Okay, it's good compression. Uh, and it would be able to share that really easily. All right, so output and save all set up. And then what you would do is just click play on the pic render to the picture viewer. And it's going to go through and render each frame, frame by frame by frame. All right, so if you look down below, uh, and, and you can calculate this out too. So I've got 120 frames. Each one is about a second. So this is going to be like a just over a two minute render. Um, and, and you know, you can you can preview it too. So if you're starting to watch this, if you want to see what it looks like, you can click on frame zero, and then you can hit the play button, and then you'll start to see how much it's rendered so far. So it's only a, you know, only a little bit so far. Um, but this is this is how it renders. So save it to, to a file. And then what we'll do on Wednesday is I'll just, you know, let you guys share your screens and we can see your animation. You can talk a little bit about what you've made. Okay, so for Wednesday, again, you are creating some sort of obstacle for a sphere, a ball to navigate and interact with. Uh, and it's up to you to decide what that may be. You know, you can knock things down, you can have it bounce around, you can change shape, form, anything you want. But I want you to you know, make this be fun, play around and just see what the animation timeline can do.